Hey guys, this is Free Play Frenchie. Welcome back to another one take video. I've just come back from EGX Rest. Well, not today, but yesterday. I'm sorry for the poor lighting, by the way. Um, I've left this video very, very last minute uh, till Sunday evening. I've had a day of doing nothing today. Um, but I'll be rewriting the review and stuff tomorrow. But that's why the lighting, it's like dusk time now. So I apologise for that. I've stuck the light on to illuminate how messy my bedroom is. Uh, but on to this topic's video, EGX Rest. I've never been before. I was so excited to go. Uh, EGX Rest is like the the minor one of EGX. The proper EGX is happening in September in Birmingham, and I'm hopefully going to be going to that and doing some more interviews and stuff um, in September. But this one was at the Tobacco Docks in London. I've never been before, so I had to navigate the tube with our cameraman, Charlie. And uh, basically, we had to get up about... Oh, I don't know what it was now. I had to get up about half past six to get ready and sort everything and make sure I had all my questions for the right developers and then we had to get a train at 8 o'clock the train was delayed oh, it was cancelled actually because Southern Fail are absolute dog shite um, and then we got a train to uh, Brighton changed to Brighton, went to London, Victoria and then had to get some tubes and stuff under there I hate the London underground, it's horrible the DL DLR trains were also kind of partially closed which made things difficult but we got there in the end and I have to say it was lovely considering I've only ever been to MCM before which is at a big, the big XL centre it can be very overwhelming I've always enjoyed myself but it's just been a little bit kind of it's so crowded in there and it's hard finding people like cosplayers to interview because a lot of people don't really want to talk in front of a camera but here I was so happy to find that a lot of um, the developers there want to grab the press and be like you know what do you want to talk about your, our game so look at this I have all the cards all the cards all the leaflets all this stuff and the plan is when I have my computer up and running, <laughs> that fabled day, one day I will actually have one and it'll be a momentous occasion. I can contact these guys um, and talk to them about doing a preview code or getting a preview code and then I can show you guys the game, which would be very, very exciting and bring you all the latest reviews and things like that because, you know, that game, I have to say, I'm going to do a little shout out right now, Figment uh, by Bedtime Digital Games. I spoke to the developer he just said hello and he was so lovely he was talking about how this game had been in his head for like three years he'd been working on it for three years very personal project um and he just sounded really emotional about it and i was like you know what it's a really good game and he's like oh that's so nice to hear that game's called figment okay um and i think it's the you're inside the mind of someone and it's you, you play his imaginary friend so definitely look out for that one um who else did i talk to i talked to James Brown, one of the directors of Gang Beasts and found one of the directors and co-founder of Bone Loaf, the studio. They're working with Double Fine and they've made Gang Beasts. You've probably seen PewDiePie and Markiplier and all those and Jacksepticeye play it. It's hilarious. I didn't get a chance to play it, unfortunately, because I was interviewing the developer, but he is so cool. And they're swamped. They are absolutely swamped with work. You have no idea. They've had to expand so rapidly and technically it's available to play but it's also not because they've they've released it so everyone can play it because everyone wanted to have a go but it's nowhere near the level they kind of want it to be and they have to keep doing updates and a lot of their fan base are quite young so they don't really understand and they're having a go at the developers who then have to do all the work themselves and you know they they are working with Double Fine now their publisher which is great but they've still got a load of work to do so for those of you who love Gang Beasts please be patient <laughs> the developer wanted me to stress this James wanted me to stress this they're working as hard as they can to do as many d updates as they possibly can. Um, I also talked to the creators of this game called Knights and Bikes, which looks brilliant. It's about two girls, it's a co-op game, um, travelling around this island and having to save the adults. There was two uh, little bicycles out that we got to sit on to ride the game, uh, to play the game, and you had to sit on them. It was great fun. Um, and the thing with all these interviews are, is that I will try and release them all separately. So I'm going to do <clears throat> a big EGX video and include the best interviews I possibly can. Because it was so noisy, um, me and my cameraman tried to organise as best we could how to get the best level sound for you guys to hear. So some of those interviews might not even be usable. 
Uh, the big ones, though, the big guys I and uh, the important guys I interviewed, I think I think fine are the best ones, more or less, which is great. And I'll probably include those in the main NGX video, and then I'll release the other interviews separately, and you can check them out if you want to. Um, <clears throat> also played a little bit of Little Nightmares, which is very cool. I was a bit nervous. I thought maybe I was going to get caught or stuck or die or whatever <laughs> but um it was really good fun and i have to say my biggest concern with egx res with with this gaming convention was a bit like you know what's the chances what's the chance what are the chances that i'm going to get to play this game um <clears throat> or any of the games because it's so busy you could be standing waiting to play a game for ages but i found for those of you who want to go if you just walk around and you have a look around by the time you get somewhere you will just you know, jump in there when someone gets up to leave. As long as you're quick, uh, there will usually be a point where you're walking by and someone will just get up to leave and you can have a go on whatever game they're playing. So, um, yeah, there's so many games, lots of pictures taken. We did get up very, very early, so we were about done by about four o'clock. Um, I played a game, Formula Fusion, an anti-gravity racer, which is very cool, um, and I'll be showing you guys a little bit more about that later. Um, it's all going to be going into my review with The Geek Life, so you must check that out when it comes out. I'll be letting you know on my Instagram. Um, and, yeah, so I played that towards the evening, and by then we were like, we're done. <laughs> We've got to travel all the way back to where I live, so... It was a tough day, it was a tough day, but it was also loads of fun, and... MCM in the past has been a little bit stressful for me. Um, I've always enjoyed it, really. It's it's something I enjoy going to, but it's just so busy. It's hard to manoeuvre around people. You know, stores are really expensive and stuff, um, and food, etc., etc. So this was a really nice change for me. I haven't been to many others. But I'm hopefully going to be going to EGX in September um, with some professional sound and quality equipment to get you the best interviews I possibly can. And then MCM on in October. So yeah, um, very exciting. As I said, I'll be doing the video as soon as I possibly can. Please be patient because editing is an absolute nightmare and you guys know this, which is why I do all my videos in one take because editing sucks for me. And I haven't got a computer, I've just got my laptop, which means faffing around and I need a workstation. If I could just have a little workstation, it would make my life so much easier. I could have my camera there, I could have the game set up, my emails, um, Steam, all the rest of it, and it would be great. So. That's what's coming soon, hopefully. Uh, yes. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. Just that it was loads of fun. I would definitely recommend going. Um, and EGX in September. Let me know if you're going. Maybe you'll see me there. Um, and all the rest of it. So, for the latest updates, do please check out my Instagram. At FreePlayFrenchy. That's where I usually am. All the news and things. There's lots of exciting things that's going to be coming. Hopefully a website. Hopefully a logo of uh, Free Play Frenchy stuff. Um, and of course all the interviews. Which is going to be very, very exciting. Lots of good things happening. So, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I will try and upload this tomorrow, which is Monday. Because I'll have some faster internet connection than I have here. Because it's absolutely terrible. And I'm sorry for the lighting again. But it won't be forever. Um, I'll definitely love to hear from the subscribers um, who have stuck around during this stage and when we're up there and we have all the professional lighting and stuff you can be like I've been around since the beginning and I will give you a hug I will personally give you a hug and tell you you're awesome thank you again to all the new subscribers who found me through my Mass Effect Andromeda video which I was totally surprised by <laughs> I can't believe how many views that got I guess I timed that really well um, Mass Effect Andromeda yeah I'll be doing a review of that once I finish the game in like I don't know three four weeks so Thank you guys, I love you very much, be cool, be kind, and I will see you in the next episode.